Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikatayal. I bring you greetings in the name and in the presence and in the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, sisters and brothers, how great it is for us to greet one another in the joy of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm sure that all of us in this great country had a wonderful Thanksgiving celebration yesterday in our families. Let's continue to be thankful to God for everything. We have been meditating about what does it mean to be a Christian? How are we growing as Christians? Today I invite you to meditate on Acts chapter 28 verse 6. In the chapter 28 we read about Apostle Paul and the ship that was carrying him to Rome <coughs> pardon me, was destroyed but nobody lost their life as Apostle Paul had predicted. They all reached the island of Malta. There the natives welcomed them. They set up a big fire to help them with the, to care for them in the cold and rain. Then as Paul was gathering some brushwood for the fire and he was putting that in the fire, they saw a snake hang biting and hanging on his on his hand. He shook it and it fell into the fire. But the natives were shocked. They thought he was a murderer because though he escaped the sea, now he's going to die of snake bite. But after some time, they observed him. No harmful effect had come upon him. And then they began to think, he is God. Sisters and brothers, what does this scripture teach us? All sorts of dangers will come upon our, us as we witness for Jesus Christ. Yes, snake bites may happen. Other dangers would happen. People would bite us with their venomous attacks. All sorts of things will happen. But when we stand solidly strong in Christ, when the presence of Christ be seen in us, they will think that we are gods. And indeed we are gods because the Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, lives in us. We are his holy temples. So to some degree, we are God's, God's radiant children, the witnesses for Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, the lesson is do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of the, the creatures in the world or the attack, the venomous attack of the enemy, the devil. We need to keep on presenting our testimony about Jesus Christ. Yes, our testimony is Jesus loved us from the very beginning of creation. He loved us to the extent of giving up his life on the cross for our salvation. He resurrected and chosen to come and live within us. We are the containers of Jesus Christ, Father Almighty and the Holy Spirit. We, that's our witness. Jesus' love abides and abounds in us. Let it go forth from us in spite of the attacks and problems and difficulty. Let the love of Jesus flow forth from us like a mighty river. Oh, sisters and brothers, what a privilege God has given us to live in him and live for him, 
to shine for him as his radiant witnesses. Yes, we have not only seen Jesus, Jesus is in us. We see Jesus in fellow Christians. We see Jesus even in non-Christians because Jesus says, whenever you did to the least of my brothers, sisters, you did that for me, to me. Jesus wants us to see him in all human beings. Sisters and brothers, let's continue to ask the Holy Spirit to come upon us and radically change us to be his growing, glowing witnesses of amazing, eternal love. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Thank you, Father, for loving us to the extent of giving up your Son on the cross for our salvation. Lord Jesus Christ, how can we thank you enough for dying on the cross, for choosing to come and live within us? Precious Lord, as you witnessed to the natives in Malta through Apostle Paul, in spite of the snake bite, he lived and he presented Christ. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, come upon us in a mighty way that we would not be stopped or blocked by the attack, venomous attack of the enemy. Enable us to shine forth as your loving, dedicated witnesses. We want to shine in you and shine for you. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.